I'm here today to talk to you about auto guidance and how it's fully integrated into the smart touch terminal and how to get the best out of it and how to use it. To go into the auto guidance settings, simply press the auto guide steering set button on the top of the tractor there and then you'll enter into advanced mode where you can see the little plus on the left hand side is activated. To, we'll start off by creating a field. To do that simply press the plus button for in that top right hand corner, type in your field name. So today we're in a field called home free. There we go. Press OK. And then you'll see that it has now allowed you to do other things in that field. For example, what you can do now is create a boundary to the field. To do that, simply press the, the boundary button and then choose which side of the tractor is your recording side. So I'm driving around the field anti-clockwise, so I'm going to choose the right-hand side there. Now you'll see it comes to this screen where you have the record button in the top right-hand corner. If you press the record button, you will see that it starts to record as you drive around the field. So I'm just going to do that now. I'm just going to drive around and I'll demonstrate to you how this works. As you can see, it's now drawing a red line behind us, which is it recording the boundary. And that red line is however wide your machine is. So you don't need to always drive right on the edge of the field with the tractor, but instead edge of the field with your implement. If you come up to a corner, you can use the pause buttons to pause recording so you can back into the corner nicely to make sure that you get a nice square corner to the field. This way, you end up with a much, much tidier field. So now I've backed into the corner, I'm just going to press the play button and as you'll see it's drawn a straight line there. Now I'm going to carry on driving down the edge of the field here and you'll see it's drawing along after me with a very nice square corner there. Now I have a very straight edge here so I'm going to press the pause button again and drive along the straight edge and then I'll press the play button when we get to the end and that will create a very straight edge for us there. Now I'm up to the end of the field, I'm just going to press the play button again and you'll see it makes a very straight edge. And then this corner I'm just going to drive around, I don't need to reverse into it because it's not quite such a sharp corner. So I'm just going to drive around it like so and you'll see it just follows the tractor around there. Once you've driven around your field, what you can do is then press the stop button. And when you press the stop button, it will join up your starting point with where you are now and finish the field for you automatically. Now it says boundary recorded, press OK and you'll see it will tell you the area of your field there. So we have a 2.44 hectare field. Then what you can do is you can, add a bound, you can add a headland into that. To add a headland, simply press the box down in the bottom left corner here where it says 21 metres and add in however wide you'd like your headland to be. I would like mine to be 14 meters today, so I'm just going to put in 14, press the tick, and then if we go onto the map, you'll be able to see that we have the blue line on the outside, which is the boundary, the edge of the field, and then the, the lighter blue, the turquoise line, that is our headland line. Now, when we go over that line, the tractor will beep at us to let us know when to lower our machine or pick up our machine. Once you've created your boundary, you can then go and create an AB line or wayline. Simply press the wayline button here on the right hand side and you'll see that you again you have three choices of wayline to choose from. We're going to choose A, B line, so we'll press the tick and again simple as press the A button, drive forward at least 10 meters, so like so. Once you've driven at least 10 meters you can then drop point B, so I'm going to do that right here and right now. And then you'll see it gives you a chance to name your wayline. To name your wayline, simply tap the box and type in your new name. So I'm just going to put in uh, West Headland. That is now saved in as West Headland, as you can see there. Once you have got multiple fields saved, you'll see you have a whole list of fields in here, which you can choose from. And also, you can have a list of different waylines in a field. You can save multiple waylines to multiple fields. Once you've created your waylines, again, it's as simple as just set off and start driving. To, 
press the auto guide button and she'll start steering down the way line for you. That is how you use our auto guide system. Valtra, your working machine.